hello dear creatives you are welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful alocran fascinator if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload new videos the materials you'll be needing for today's tutorial are skewer stick you can get skewer stick to buy from those that sell materials for baking cake. We'll also be needing a spray paint. I'm using a silver color spray paint for this tutorial and some trimmings for embellishment. I'll be needing B7000 gum, hot glue gum, marker, ruler, Taylor's chalk. A pair of scissors for cutting and I'll be needing this bead for embellishment as well measuring tape Alice band and a razor blade now let's jump right into the tutorial I will start by getting the measurement for the skewer stick and for the first set the measurement is seven inches long I'll measure it, use my razor blade to cut, and then I'll use my hand to break. I'll repeat the same procedure for the other skewer stick. I'll be needing about 23 to 25 of this for the first set of skewer stick that we'll be using for this tutorial. And this is it. I'm going to set this one aside. I'll get another set of skewer stick and i will be using 12 of this i will use my ruler to arrange them this way and then after i'll pick the first one by my left hand side i'll measure hats five inches and i will take my razor blade to cut and then after i'll break it that and uh, from the one on my right hand side I'm going to pick it up and I'll measure heart 3 inches and then after I'll break it after cutting and this is it now I'm going to arrange this properly one more time and I'll take my ruler and place it on it this way and then I'll use my marker to rule so I'm just going to slant it this way and then I'll use my marker to rule. Then after I'll start picking this one after the other, I'll cut and then I'll break it that. I'll pick the other one and repeat the same procedure on it. I will go ahead and keep repeating the same procedure until this first set of 12 skewer stick is completely worked on after which i will get another set of 12 skewer stick and repeat the same procedure i used for the first one then after i will have two sets of 12 skewer stick the only difference is that while one is in descending order the other is in ascending order Remember we have another set of 23 skewer stick that is measuring 7 inches. I will get them and set them aside and I uh, will get my Alice band and measure the entire length which is 14 inches and I will also get the midpoint. From the midpoint I will mark at half inch and I will mark another half inch. And I will continue marking out half inch on both sides. Remember, this is my midpoint. I will just repeat what I did to the other side on this side now. And I'm now ready to place the skewer stick on the Alice band.
I place some dotted lines on the Alice band. I will start with this, with the midpoint. I've plugged my hot glue gum to an electric socket. Now I'm just going to apply my hot glue gum and take one of the long skewer stick that is measuring 7 inches and then place it on the midpoint. And on the dotted lines in between the half inch, I'll be placing the short skewer stick starting from the longest on my left hand side. Then after, I will apply my odd glue gum again and on the half inch mark, I'll place the long skewer stick measuring 7 inches. I will apply my gum again and I'll pick one of the small one and place it right here. So this is what I'll keep doing by alternating the long skewer stick and the short skewer stick on my left hand side and then I will have this. Now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same procedure on my right hand side. So I will start from the longest and now I will apply my gum and after applying my gum I will just place this long one on it but before then I will have to take one of the small one and place it right here or the short one and then this so I'm just trying to arrange it now to so you get or see how I'm going to arrange my so the trick is this, I'll be alternating the short one and the long one in descending order and I'm just going to continue with this off camera to the end and I will have this. At this stage, I'll be applying the spray paint to my work to change the color but first I need to cover my working table to prevent it from getting stained. Now I'm going to check the spray paint and after checking I will apply it or spray it generously to give me the silver color I desire. Remember you can use any color of your choice and please don't forget to spray it generously. I'll go ahead and spray the Alice band as well. Flip it over to the other side and continue spraying until all my work is completely covered with the spray paint to give me a silver color. And I have this, so I'm just going to allow it to dry up before I'll start embellishing or beautifying my work. And uh, I'll be needing this silver colors trimmers for embellishment. I'll apply my gum, my B7000 gum or wool gum and after applying my gum generously, I'll take it to my work this way and place it on it. I'm just trying to embellish my work. You can use any material for embellishment or beautification. I will cut out the excess trimmings, apply my gum to the tip and fold in the edges. I will repeat the same procedure to cover the other edge and then after I will cover the other layer up with my trimmings, turn to the back and cover it with my trimmings as well. I will turn to the front again and I'll be using these beads to further embellish my work. I'll start by applying gum to the bead and I'll insert it on the skewer stick one after the other. After inserting the bit, I will apply gum to my fabric flower and place it on my work. 
so you can just go ahead and play with any flower of your choice or use any flower of your choice for embellishment and this is the finished look of our crown fascinator using skewer stick in our previous tutorial i made a video on how to make this gold color crown fascinator using pencil i will drop the link in the description box below so you can go ahead and watch the video.